Hello and welcome. Sorry, I was moving around, but I have a bag of uh, thrifted dolls, and uh, I will be washing them. I was washing here something else, so it's wet. Excuse that, but they're pretty dirty, so I wanna put them right away in here where I will be washing them. And let's start with the first doll. Uh, by the way, uh, my dad bought me these dolls from a flea market that I don't have access to uh, because it's uh, further away from me. But my mom and dad go and they bought me these dolls and they gave them to me a while back and they've been sitting waiting uh, to be cleaned and uh, this is a Simba toys uh, or Stefilov if you will Snow White she she's a pretty doll and is in nice condition and her hair is nice uh, she has peaches and creams dress on but the dress is in a very sorry condition Let's see, can I at least use the bottom, bottom, sorry, bo bottom, <laughs> bottom part of the dress, sorry. English is not my first language and I haven't recorded videos in a while, so maybe I'm a little bit rusty with speaking it. Uh, I don't know. It's... It's annoying that such a good dress has been damaged so much. Oh, this girly. Uh, I have no idea who she is. She's the summer face mode. Her hair is disgusting and uh, it is beyond, beyond saving. Uh, but I will try to save the face because I love her side glance. She's some sort of playline Barbie. I will look her up later. It's not gonna be too hard because uh, how many uh, summers have blue eyes and side glance? I will find her easily, but she's very nice. I'm excited about uh, her face. And then we have something very interesting. Look at his size. Here is a Barbie. Here is he. He's small, very articulated guy. I have seen something on like that on someone's channel. And he's some sort of, let's see what, Megucorp 1947, rig US, but off, uh, but pending Hong Kong. I have, I have seen this toy somewhere uh, being spoken about and um, I don't know what exactly he is. I will do some googling but uh, yes I know that he he's how should I say a well-known toy just I don't know exactly uh, which one because I don't collect action figures which is not exactly true because I do collect some action figures that are a size that is good enough that goes with the Barbies. But uh, I will be keeping him. I, I like him. I like how articulated he is. Uh, then we have a skirt. Mm, maybe this one is in a better condition. Um, the belt needs to be fixed, but at least this part, well, no, it has a tear. Oh, well, it's very annoying about these dresses. Then, oh, this is very interesting. Again, another toy that I have seen. He is, again, smaller than a Barbie. Uh, shorter, a few centimeters. His hands, I think, are beyond salvation. 
I don't know about keeping him. He has some sort of gimmick. Maybe uh, he would fight or do something when you press the button. He's missing a leg and the hand and the rubber of his hands has disintegrated and yellowed. He has a very nice head mold and yeah if the hands weren't in such a bad condition he would actually be worth uh, saving it says uh, 1971 Mateo yes I have I have heard about him uh, Hong Kong US and origin patented something like that again uh, I have watched some sort of video or I don't know a documentary about toys and have seen this guy but I don't remember him and maybe this is the peaches and cream Barbie but she has been through it very sad no eyes, yeah. I do think this is the peaches and cream. Peaches and cream has purple makeup. I do have a very nice peaches and cream in very nice uh, shape. Maybe, maybe I can use the body of this peaches and cream and give it to my peaches and cream because my peaches and cream is perfect except she doesn't have her thumbs but sorry got interrupted but maybe they're a different country make maybe I can just restore I don't know I don't know exactly what I will do but yeah very sad that she was so ruined um, there is a top here then a Cinderella which I'm not very interested in I guess I will clean her up and sell her on or something of that sort she does have problems with the lips so we will see about her then of course a Steffi love doll we can't go without a Steffi love doll if you're thrifting in uh, Bulgaria the Steffi loves are everywhere and uh, this was a lot that my dad bought so he didn't have a choice about her then we have this interesting girl who I feel like um, she doesn't match her body, I don't know. Um, the body is quite smaller, you can see, than your standard Barbie body, but the head is not. And I think she, yeah, she has had her hair chopped. Maybe when I wash it, it will look fine. She's cute. She's very pink, which I like. Uh, then, mm, this is very interesting though. Uh, she is from a movie, I think. And uh, she has the string. She can do... I guess this <laughs> when you pull the string her skirt becomes like short I don't know some sort of gimmick maybe this top is hers it looks like it would work honestly yeah I'm not very <laughs> excited about her but I will wash her and yeah this this has to be hers and help her and yeah pass her on then we have an Anna again a nice doll but I do have this Anna and Anna's and Elsa's are super common 
Then we have some sort of homemade scrunchie and the leg of the Steffi doll. And that's it. Basically, I am super excited for this doll, because, but she is gonna have to be a reroute, which I'm not gonna reroute her now, but I will prep her for a reroute. And if she was in a better condition, I would have been very excited about her, but I will try to help her. I guess, yeah, she will have to be a reroute as well, but uh, we'll see. She's not a very high priority on my list for rerouting. I do have a bunch of dolls that need rerouting, so we'll see about that. All right, well, I will be uh, heading into washing some dollies and I'll see you when they are all clean. And here we are a lot later. All of the dolls are cleaned and washed. Honestly, I'm not gonna keep any of these dolls here. They all washed very nicely and stuff. They're just not for me. Maybe someone will get them for their child or something of that sort. But they all look at the Snow White's hair, how shiny it is. They all cleaned up pretty nicely. Well, <laughs> I don't know if someone will want him. Uh, yeah, she... Her hair is chopped, but I think it's cute. And then uh, I'm keeping her. She's not peaches and cream. Uh, they told me it's something pink <laughs> again, but uh, it's not peaches and cream. They counted the lashes in day uh, in in a in a Barbie group. Uh, I need to reroute and stuff. Here is her body ready for reroute. Um, it's pretty damaged, like the shine come, came off and stuff like that, but she will be a project, I guess. Uh, this doll is prepared for the root. I don't know when I will, but eventually when I feel like torturing myself, meaning rerouting, I will reroute her because I really love her face. Uh, these are the skirts which are not in great shape maybe <laughs> i can take the pattern from the peaches and cream dress and just make another peaches and cream dress and i'm keeping this guy because i find him very interesting he's clean just this is a uh, paint which i will have to remove but yeah for now he is like that. I haven't decided exactly what to do uh, with him. And yeah, this is my little uh, thrift, not thrift, but uh, flea market, sorry. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you want to know uh, something about dough washing and cleaning, you can always, always sorry, ask me in the comments and uh, I will get to you. And yeah, thanks for watching and bye for now.